it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness hello everyone and welcome to mornings with the master an inspiring devotional from the blue mountain seventh day baptist church this morning's devotional is entitled keep praying keep longing and our focus passage is saint luke chapter 15 verse 17 through to verse 20. Let's read together. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son, make me as one of thy hired servants and he arose and came to his father but when he was yet a great way off his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him the story of the prodigal son is one that most if not all of us are familiar with it is an interesting one with an exciting turn of events. While Jesus was teaching on the joy experience when an individual repents and is restored to their home, he told the parable of the prodigal son. What could possibly be so interesting about this story? I mean, the younger of two brothers took his inheritance from his father, moved away from home and lived a riotous life. He wasted all he had and started working meaningless jobs, then realized the consequences of his actions and he returned to his father. That sounds pretty much like an everyday occurrence and that assumption might very well be true. But what was remarkable was not the actions of the son, but rather those of the father. When the boy finally decided to return home, he rehearsed a moving speech for his father, as found in St. Luke 15, verse 17 and 18. I have sinned against heaven and you. I am not worthy to be your son. Make me your hired servant. But long before he could repeat those words, his father spotted him from afar off and ran to meet him. The father's expression of love showed a longing that so pure. The father must have been concerned about his son. He must have been heartbroken about him leaving. But yet there were no questions asked, no bad mouthing, no form of scorn or rejection. Instead, the father celebrated the son's return. He celebrated the one he thought was dead, the one he thought was lost. The father rejected the label the son wanted, that of a servant, and gave him something that was far better, that of a son. Can you imagine how Jehovah feels when we turn away from him? Can you imagine the joy he feels when one returns to him? Like this father, he longs for us to return to him, waiting to receive us unto himself disregarding what we think of ourselves and making us new creatures. Perhaps we are also like this father, longing for our loved ones to return to Christ, longing for them to connect with the master. My encouragement for you is do not get weary. Keep praying, keep mentioning their names in prayer before the Lord. One day, the celebration will begin. Or maybe you are like the sun, tired of the way you are living, and you've realized that what your heavenly father has in store for you is greater than what this world can offer. Maybe you are longing to return. You can make the first step. Like the prodigal son, come before him with a repentant heart. Say, Lord, I have sinned against you. 
I know I'm not worthy to be considered your child, but I want to make a step in the new direction starting today. Please come into my heart as I submit my fears, plans, and control to you. A broken spirit and a contrite heart, those the Lord will not despise. As you start a new journey in Christ, or as you continue to intercede on someone else's behalf, may the Lord be your guide and give you strength. Let us pray. Eternal Father, how great you are. We thank you for your faithfulness towards us. We thank you that restoration is possible. We thank you that we can still come to you with a heart that is broken. Lord, like the, the, the writer says, as the deer pants for the water, but so our soul longs for you. May we find you, mighty God, as we thirst, Lord. May we find you satisfying. Lord, may we find you as one who will give us hope. May we find you even when we are at our lowest point and help us to realize that you long to hold us in the palm of your hands. You long to, to be with us, to be reunited with us, mighty God. Lord, we pray, God, that as we come and as we repent of our ways that are not pleasing before you, that, Lord, you will reach out and you will touch us. God, we know that you will not cast us away. Those who are willing to turn to you today, mighty God, I pray that their hearts will be so touched by your presence, by your word, and that they too will bow and they will confess their sins and they will turn and start a new life. But it is nothing that we deserve, but it is certainly your grace that has afforded us this chance. Lord, it is not that we would have earned anything, but your grace still is there for us. Master, we pray that as we, as we put before you those who have not yet accepted you, or those who have accepted and have turned away from you, Lord, as we place them before you now, Lord, we pray that your lives, O oh God, will not end without them accepting you. Lord, I pray, God, that they will be restored to the full. Lord, I pray that their hearts will be touched by your words today and that their lives will never be the same. Lord, those who are lingering between two opinions, may they make the choice to serve you. May they make the choice, mighty God, to give their lives over to you. Lord, we ask that you will strengthen them. We ask that you will be a fence around them. We ask that you will glorify yourselves in their lives and that they will turn over control, full control to you. Master, we ask that you will be with us today. We ask that you will strengthen us. May we never get weary when we place before you our loved ones who have not yet accepted you. May we never get weary when we put before you this nation the future, Lord, the children, all those who need to accept you, may we never get to be of putting them before you, Master. And we ask, oh God, that you will be with us, that you will always put in our minds and in our hearts a desire to pray, to share the good news with others so that they too can be a part of your kingdom. We thank you for your faithfulness towards us. We thank you for the opportunities that will present themselves to us to share your words with others. In Jesus' name. I was blessed this morning to have spent this time reflecting on God's word with you in mornings with the Master. It is my prayer that you were inspired, that you were challenged, that you were lifted. I invite you to join us next time for another transforming word from the Lord. Be sure to like our Facebook page at Blue Mountain Seventh-day Baptist Church. Follow us on Instagram at Blue Mountain SDB underscore church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with a friend. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and protect you. 
May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and grant you his peace. Many, many blessings. That was Mornings with the Master from the Blue Mountain Seventh-day Baptist Church.